What's up, Gutter Gang? It's Blunt Guts. Today, I'm going to be talking about the first time I got that guac guac. Before I get any deeper into this story time, if you're a new viewer, share with your homies, like the video, or just subscribe. Definitely more shit coming soon and, like, bigger shit on this channel. They're trying to build this shit up and, like, become big, boys. Like, I'm trying to do something with this shit. And let's get into the story time. All right, so basically, this story takes place around... I just got into, like, 8th grade, so I was, like, 13. I'm not gonna get too deep into details in case, like, I know some people watching this. Basically, I met this bitch in the beginning of 8th grade. And I can say bitch because, to be honest, boy, she was kind of a fucking thought. That's besides the point. So, yeah, basically, me and this girl, we got acquainted. Always heard from, like, other people that this girl kind of liked me, so I started talking to her. Not like as in a dating way. I was really just trying to fucking get some XP points in, boys. I was really trying to fucking grill some fucking patties, if you know what I mean. But, but yeah, we got acquainted. We hang out like a couple times at the park or some shit. And then we're fucking making out on regular shit. Regular shit, you know what I'm saying? But the topic of me receiving that sloppy, it was on my mind. And I, I was like, yo, let me get that. Let me get that. And she kept like holding back on it. And I'm like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really tripping because low-key I was like kind of scared to get this shit because it's my first time so yeah it was like a month of me just hanging out with her at certain places me talking to her me going to her house a couple times but nothing ever surpassed like making out until this point boys so i skate all the way to this bitch's house because as you guys know i'm a fucking skater it's like 15 to 20 minutes to skate to her house and it's like it's like uphill boys so yeah by the time i get there i'm sweaty yeah i skate to this bitch's house get in her crib the usual shit happens when you first get to a bitch's crib you just talk for a little bit and after a little while of kissing this girl i was like i need to take this shit to the next level boys so i'm just laying down and just to remind you boys i'm faded than a hoe in this bitch like at this time i was smoking push carts like heavily every day push carts moon rock carts i'll smoke any fucking card at this point so yeah, I was just in this bitch's room straight chiefing that Benjamin, boys. And I don't condone doing this because, like, low-key, being faded, I, like, it kind of ruined my fucking experience. Because, like, I don't know why when I'm just making out with someone and I'm just faded as fuck, it feels like I'm, like, having a conversation with a fucking alien or some shit. Like, I don't know. It's, like, it's not enjoyable in that type of way. It just feels, like, kind of weird. Maybe that's also because I didn't really like the bitch, like... Honestly, I didn't really like that girl. She's kind of a thought. Yeah, as I was saying, we we're just laying on this bed and I decided it was time. So my faded ass was just like, yo, you might need to go down there. And when she said that, I was like, bro, my fuck. It felt like you guys know when someone gets an idea and a light bulb pops over their head. It felt like there was a fucking light bulb over my head and that shit just like shattered. And I like, bro, I was like fucking, I was scared. I was, ex I was excited as fuck, boys. Let me tell you, boys, when I, when I was laying down on my back, this bitch pulled off my fucking trousers, bro. So I felt that breeze on my fucking ball back, boys. I was, I was ecstatic, bro. And then she just started going at it. And it took like five to ten seconds to fully register in my mind what was going on because while this was happening there was so much shit going through my mind i was like oh shit i'm getting fucking head for the first time my first thoughts on how this felt honestly boys i was like low-key disappointed while it was happening literally felt like don't get me wrong it feels like it, it felt fire like it felt like a goaded like massage but i don't know i think it was just me and i think it was because like my first time maybe my fucking little johnny was too shocked so the nerve endings were like fucking glitching or some shit but i don't know why like it literally felt like my fucking cock was like floating in space like, while she was going at it, it literally felt like I didn't even have a fucking dick, bro. It literally felt like that shit was just floating in a fucking void of nothingness. Which kind of scared me, bro, because, like, I was faded. And after a while, I was, like, felt like I didn't even have a dick anymore. So I kind of got scared. Like, I thought my dick got lost or some shit. But I just realized I was tripping. Like, I just realized I was a retarded ass. Though. I don't even know why I thought of that shit. Yeah, this goes on for, like, four to five minutes. I never end up actually finishing... And boys, when I was skating home, it doesn't even matter if that shit didn't feel as good as I thought. Like, it didn't really meet my expectations at all. But while on the skate back home, I was fucking, I was recording myself to my friends. And I was just like, oh, I sent this to my friend's group chat. I was like, I just set myself smacking the push cart. And I was like, let's go, boys. I just got head for the first time. I was just straight up fucking hyped, boys. 
when I got back to school, I probably told, like, every fucking homie I knew about what fucking happened. Yeah, boys, that's the story. Um, didn't really meet my expectations. It was good, but honestly, I think part of the reason it, did it, it wasn't really that good was because the bitch was inexperienced. I didn't even really like her like that. And also, I was just faded than a host. So maybe that has, like, something to do with it. But anyways, boys, if you guys made it this far into the video, I appreciate it very much. Go fuck with the backup channel, boys. I'll put the link down in the description. Share the channel with your homies. I'm trying to grow this bitch. I got like, I got like four designs, like four sick ass designs that I want to show you guys. So I'm like trying to put it on merch and like stickers and all that shit. But I need to go to like some places and just film so I can make the edit for the designs and then I'll post that shit. You guys probably won't be able to see that shit for like another month type shit or maybe like two weeks. But it's coming. So show some love. Stay connected. Be yourself. And I'm out. Peace.